Hello and welcome to the channel. The appointment of Malam Nuhu Ribadu as the new National Security Advisor NSA was mostly welcomed by a lot of Nigerians. The former EFCC boss was widely lauded during his time in the commission for his stance and fight against corruption. And it is against this backdrop that the Nigerian people are hoping that Ribadu will bring to bear his experience to tackle the many security issues bedeviling the country. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Ribadu and renewed hope for life and property. Malam Nuhu Ribadu, the pioneer chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, was recently appointed the National Security Advisor, NSA. His appointment comes at a time Nigeria is still reeling in pains of security challenges. Yet, most Nigerians have described the appointment as being in line with the global trend, a growing shift to intelligence-led security, as well as a paradigm shift from the regular appointment from successive governments. President Bola Tinubu, very early in office, made it clear that he was constructing a new security architecture where coordination would be paramount. He warned that service chiefs should be ready to work as part of a team and not as rivals. The retired Assistant Inspector General of Police took over from Major General Baba Gana Monguno, retired, as Nigeria's NSA. He came to national prominence after being appointed EFCC chairman by former President Olusegun Obasanjo. Ribadu had taken to the assignment with enthusiasm only for a change of government to consign him to premature retirement. He left his career as an intelligence officer in the rank of AIG. Ribadu's return to the corridors of power marks a break in the pattern of appointments to the office of NSA over the last 25 years. Ribadu has become a household name in Nigeria and beyond on account of his glorious public service record and personal integrity. A trained lawyer and fearless crime fighter, Ribadu has carved a niche for himself as someone who is patriotic, passionate, honest, courageous, and compassionate. Already, there are high expectations from Nigerians and the international community for Ribadu not only to curb insecurity and restore calm in the country, but to rebuild the damaged reputation of the Nigerian defense structure. A former Kaduna Central Senator, Sheh Usani, said Nigerians expected the new NSA to employ a different approach to achieve a better result in the fight against insecurity in the country. Sonny stated this in a statement via his verified Twitter handle. He tasked Ribadu to hand the criminality of reason, banditry, killings, and nappings across the country. The Kaduna lawmaker also urged Ribadu to bring innovations that will ensure the protection of schools and farmers from risks. The immediate past chairman, House of Representatives Committee on Army, Honorable Abdurazak Namdas, described the new NSA and service chiefs as square pegs in square holes. He said, in my view, the president made an excellent selection of officers that can help him fight insecurity in Nigeria. As the chairman, House Committee, I got to know the chief of defense staff, General C.G. Musa, and the chief of army staff, Major General T.A. Lagbaja. They have held command positions, and they are very respected in the Nigerian army. I have been told that the two other service chiefs are thorough professionals. When you had Malam Nuhu Ribadu as national security advisor, I believe they will help the president achieve the desired results. As far as I am concerned, these men are square pegs in square holes. On the appropriateness of Ribadu's appointment as NSA, Namda said the choice of a police officer as NSA is not new. According to the Director General, DG of Imodu, National Institute for Labor Studies, Isa Aremu, the appointment of Malam Ribadu has renewed hope among Nigerians that the security sector reform initiated by former President Muhammadu Buhari will be further deepened. Speaking at the sidelines of the 2023 Ilorin Emirate Doba, Aremu congratulated Malam Ribadu as the 10th NSA and said that based on experience and capacity, Malam Ribadu was eminently qualified for the job of advising the president on national security matters. As a member, 
20 whole head senior executive course, SEC 30 of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, NIPPS, Kuru Jos Malam Ribado was sufficiently exposed to the tasks of building a better Nigeria. He is also politically tested to know that what is at stake is renewed hope for secure lives and properties for Nigerians and Nigerians. He said, also, the coalition of Northern groups commended the appointment of Ribado as the NSA. The CNG, in a statement by the spokesperson, Abdulaziz Suleiman in Abuja, viewed this appointment as incontrovertible proof of President Tinubu's commitment to the discharge of the vital task of providing adequate security to citizens. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Describing Ribado as a square peg in a square hole, the coalition said he appropriately fits the position he is called to occupy as a universally acknowledged security expert, blended in rare quality of fortitude and strength of character. A former Niger Delta agitator, government Ekbe Mupolo, also known as Tom Polo, has expressed his belief that Ribado will bring innovations that will drive the security apparatus of the nation to an enviable height. Ribado is aware of the gravity of the nation's security challenges, but he is confident that he will make a mark. The BH insurgency is largely crushed, but there are still a nuisance along with ESWAP around the fringes of the lake shard. The specter of error is an ever-present reality, given events from the Sahel right up to Libya and across North Africa. Nigeria's long and porous borders means it is virtually impossible to keep out undesirable elements who are pouring in from conflict zones early identified. Killings in the north-central region linked to headers remain a problem. In the last three months, scores of people have lost their lives to the conflict. The activities of bandits is also a headache in the northwest and in parts of north-central. Napping seems to be on the wane, although not totally eliminated. In the southeast, the problem of rampaging gunmen is linked to the secessionist agitation of the country's coast sea piracy is damaging maritime prospects, but of greater worry in the south-south zone is oil theft that seems unstoppable. Ribadu, at a brief event held in Abuja recently, expressed his commitment to fulfilling the expectations of Nigerians and ensuring the safety and security of the country. We will stabilize this country, we will secure our country, and we will make Nigeria peaceful because we believe the time has come for this country to enjoy peace restore order, and uphold the rule of law, just like any other country in the world. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.